Hey everyone, it's Ariana, and I think we can all agree that Tiana's beignets and the Princess and the Frog look so unbelievably good. Today we're making them at home, and they're just as good as they look. In a mixer, stir together a cup and a fourth of warm milk plus a teaspoon and a half of yeast, and let this bloom for a few minutes. Then add a third of a cup of sugar and one and a half cups of flour. And once that's all combined into a batter, you can add an egg, two tablespoons of butter, and an additional two cups of flour. Switch over to the dough hook and mix it for about five minutes on setting two, and then about two minutes on setting four. After your dough should be all smooth and fluffy, you can also do these steps by hand, but it's just a little bit of a workout. Cover your bowl with plastic and then set it into a warm place to rise for about two hours. Once your dough is doubled in size, punch it down using your fist and then roll it out to about a third of an inch thickness. Cut out squares to the size you like and then heat your oil over medium high, adding your beignets in. You want to make sure that it's bubbling so that they'll fluff up right away. Make sure to keep an eye on them because they brown super quickly and then I finish them off with a little drizzle of honey and a mound of powdered sugar. Check out the full recipe on my Instagram where I reply to all my followers' comments. There is absolutely no debate that the ratatouille from the movie looked unbelievably good. And I'm going to try and do that justice today. We start off by slicing one to two zucchinis, yellow squashes, tomatoes, eggplants, and then get a pan super hot, add olive oil, and then one red bell pepper and one yellow bell pepper. I picked some fresh basil from the garden and then added it to the peppers along with a clove of garlic and 28 ounces of crushed tomatoes. Next, give it a sprinkle of some salt and pepper and then give it a little stir. And then we artfully arranged all of our veggies. I started out with a stack of the four and then swirled it around until I made it to the end and seasoned it up with some salt and pepper. The crowning glory that goes on top of this ratatouille is the herb mixture. It's a little bit of thyme, parsley, basil, garlic, and some salt and pepper. To this, we add about four tablespoons of olive oil and then spoon it over the ratatouille. Cover with foil and then bake at 375 degrees for about 40 minutes. Take the foil off and then bake for 20 to 30 minutes more until you have this gorgeous color on top. And that's it, ratatouille fit for the critic Anton Ego himself. They were recreating the spaghetti and meatballs from that one iconic scene in The Lady in the Tramp. To make the meatballs, mix together a pound of ground beef with a pound of ground pork, a couple of panko breadcrumbs, a half a cup of parmesan, salt, pepper, two eggs, and then we're going to chop up a half a cup of fresh parsley and two cloves of garlic. If you smash the garlic with the back of the knife, the peel comes right off, and then you can mince it up and add it to the mixture. Then mix it all up until it's just combined using your hands. Wow, that is a very interesting texture. And then we can assemble our meatballs. Take as much mix as you like to make whatever size you want, and then and roll them up into balls. Then add olive oil to a hot pan and fry your meatballs until they're nice and golden. This helps build the flavor and then add your pasta sauce. Today I'm using this new black truffle infused sauce from Truff, which is seriously amazing. I'm gonna link it in my bio for anyone who's interested in trying it. And then simmer your meatballs in the sauce for about 10 to 15 minutes till they're cooked all the way through. Then put it all together with your cooked spaghetti and top with more sauce, parmesan, and fresh basil. Let me know what I should make next and check out the full recipe on my Instagram. What if I told you you could make these insanely fluffy and delicious soft pretzels with only five ingredients? This is not a drill. You probably already have everything you need, so let's get it. All you need is one and three-fourths cups of flour. I used whole wheat and then a cup of Greek yogurt. That's what gives it the chewy texture like the ones with the mall. You're also going to add two and a half teaspoons of baking powder and a teaspoon of salt and then knead it all up until it forms the shaggy dough. Don't worry about making it totally smooth and then you're going to want to cut it into eight sections. Once you've got all your sections, you're going to want to roll each one into a snake. Look at how fluffy that is and then twist it into the pretzel shape. It's a little bit of a learning curve, but so fun. Add your finished pretzels to a baking dish and top them with a beaten egg using a pastry brush to get nice and golden in the oven. Then sprinkle with sea salt or cinnamon sugar or whatever you like. Bake at 400 degrees for 20 minutes and you're going to end up with the perfect soft pretzel. Tell me you're not craving this right now. Full recipes on my Instagram and follow for more.